Okay, this one's going to be on changing some defaults in KDE, I think part 3 here. So, uh, first up is Dolphin. Uh, if you watch my video on Dolphin, yeah, definitely do all those settings I told you to do. But uh, the other things on here is you can actually add this up icon, which is you know pretty useful sometimes. Right, this up icon. So you change like you know your directory levels. Um, so if you want to get that one, uh, what what does it do first? Basically, if you go like this, you know, it changes to um, my home here and then to the root here, right? Uh, as opposed to the back and forward button is two different things, right? But if you want to get that, you go to uh, configure toolbar, and basically, you know, you look for the one that says up. I already have it here, but basically, you you know, select it, uh, the one that you want, and you click over here, and then hit apply. It's kind of like Firefox. Uh, you can do this, but that's all you gotta do. Hit apply. I already have it. Um, so that's that. The other one is they have this little um, <coughs> what is it? Um, the free space for your hard drive here, right? Let me zoom in. See this little thing over here? Um, it's actually pretty useful to me. So if you want to enable it, go into your configure Dolphin this time, not the toolbar, Dolphin, and then go to the generals and then go to the status bar, and just enable that. Um, and then you have your information. Okay. Uh, next thing is uh, we're gonna change some hotkeys because I don't really like the defaults one. Uh, so K Runner, you know they they have the default is Alt F2, but for me I like uh, Control Space. So you know this is how you open K Runner, right? But you want to change the high key. Go to your system settings here. And uh, go to where it says shortcut and gestures here, right? And go to where it says the global keyboard shortcuts. And what you want to do is go down where it says um, run command interface. And in here where it says the run command, this is where you change, uh, you know, to a different hotkey. Which I like control space, you know, here. Uh, you can choose whatever you want, but control space, that's it. The other one, they have this um, default one. It's supposed to be, what was it, Control Escape. And this was supposed to be showing your uh, process table. But I don't really like that one, so that's why I removed this one. Okay. We're going to actually add in our own custom one um, to do this. So in here, I already have one here, but let me delete this so we can do it again. Delete this sucker. And what you want to do. Um, is create like maybe a new group I guess call it whatever you want maybe YouTube or something and then um, let me see uh, add a global command and then we call it uh, whatever you want to call it I call it system monitor All right make sure you check the the stupid button uh, the, the checkbox here and then click on this one now we're gonna go to the actions and I'm going to assign a um, a command to it. Basically, the command is um, is this one, the K uh, Syscard. Uh, that's the name of you know the program that's on KDE for the system monitor. In, in GNOME is was it the uh, GNOME system monitor? Basically, the same thing, different uh, environment. So put that in there, and then uh, in the trigger, this is where you put your shortcut. And I like using the same shortcut. That's actually pretty uh, cool that they have it. Uh, control Escape, right? So hit that sucker, that sucker, and apply. And now when you hit the high key, you'll open this one. So what's the difference between this one and the and the original one? Well, the original one only had uh, the process table, and you can only see it like this, right? However, this uh, this one has the system load, and that's what I like to to see, you know. I'm used to this because I use GNOME and then they have this and uh, I like to see them both just by using the tabs here so that's what I like by default okay uh, what else is next okay we can go back and um, uh, some people still like using was it the high key control out backspace so you can actually enable that in here by going to the input device here okay 
and you want to go to the keyboard and then go to um, advanced and make sure you check this this stupid box otherwise it doesn't work and then go expand this one where it says uh, what is it? key sequence to kill X server that's basically uh, the command here um, that's that we're gonna enable okay and just check this box where it says control out backspace and apply that's pretty much all you gotta do now I think you have to log out log back in and then it will work uh, forever again okay and uh, to use control out backspace uh, the last thing now generally when I do a screencast I show people this um, you know interface kinda like the control panel in Windows where you have the stupid icons the thing is it's really annoying to navigate through this uh, you can see that if I go here you know I have to click on the stupid back button and all this right they usually do this like this annoying so what you want to do uh, if you want to okay you can go to configure up here and change it to the tree style which I think this is more efficient you know doesn't look pretty but um, when you're navigating to you know all these settings you want to do it really quick and this is that the quickest way in my opinion right uh, so if you want the tree style or the icon uh, view up to you but generally I like it this way okay but when I'm doing a screencast you probably see it the icon view so people can you know know what the hell I'm, I'm talking about so that's it for the default up to you if you want to use it that's all